Hey guys, uh, in this video we're going to go ahead and attack the first bullet here uh, that you're going to be able to use the ruler postulate to find the lengths of segments. Alright, here actually is the ruler postulate and to sum it up, it's basically just that every point that you have, any points you want, A, B, C, D, whatever, there's an X coordinate that you could match it up with one to one. So A has a specific X coordinate you can match it up with, B has a specific one, C, D, E, however many you've got. And just for ease, you know, we typically will, will list it out horizontally. You can almost think of it like the X axis. Um, just like if you were going to go measure something with a ruler, literally with a ruler, you probably would line it up so you can read it easily. Um, and it doesn't really matter which way you, you know, rotate the ruler, it'll still have a measurement. So the ruler postulate says that every point can be matched with an X coordinate um, one to one. So every, every point has a match, okay? The distance then can be found, and the distance is written as just AB here. Notice there's no symbol on top. There's no notation for that other than just simply putting the A right next to the B. And that by default means distance. So this is the distance between A and B when you write it this way. And if every point has an X coordinate that it matches up with, then to find that distance, you literally just find the actual length in between. All right? And mathematically, you can just take the difference of those two values, whichever one you want to do first, it doesn't really matter. And as long as you take the absolute value, you'll get the correct, the correct distance. Because distance, of course, has to be positive. All right, so this is kind of a, a pretty involved way to do something that you probably already know how to do. For example, if I want to try to find the length of segments here listed on this picture, you know, EF or FG or EJ or whatever it is, I would literally just find the difference of the two values in question, the ones that match up, and take the absolute value. So this first example wants the distance EJ. Well, E is at 1 and J is at 7. So if I subtract them, I'll get the value that represents the distance, in this case 6. What if you actually did it this way instead? What if you did EJ equals, instead of doing 7 minus 1, what if you actually did 1 minus 7? Well, it's still the same values, right? The difference of 1 minus 7 is actually negative 6, but because it's absolute value, you're still going to get your 6 centimeters, you know, and that would still match up with what you got the other way. So it actually doesn't matter which way you go. Just remember, it's always got to be positive, so we use absolute value to kind of make that happen. All right, that's essentially how you do, uh, the, you find the distance using the ruler postulate. Let's do a couple examples together, make sure it's all good. This first one wants the distance between E and G. So E is at 1 and G is at 5. So it's going to be the absolute value of 1 minus 5, which is the absolute value of negative 4, which of course is 4. And that's the value in this case, it's centimeters, so I'll put centimeters. And if there were no centimeters listed and it was just units, you could write units. Um, but the, the main idea here is to take the difference of the two values and literally find the absolute value and you're good to go. How about EF? E starts at 1. F looks like, you've got to approximate here a little bit, uh, looks like about 2.5 I'm going to go with. So EF equals the absolute value of 1 minus 2.5 which is the absolute value of negative 1.5, which is just 1.5. And some of you looking at this are saying, Mr. Miller, why don't you just do it the other way so you don't have to worry about doing absolute value? And that's fine. If you look at that and you're saying, I want to go 2.5 minus 1, no problem. The beautiful thing about it is it doesn't actually matter. As long as you know what you're doing, it doesn't make a difference which way you go. How about FH? I'll do it the other way this time. F is at 2.5 and H is at 5.5. So I'm going to go 5.5 minus 2.5, which of course is just 3, so 3 centimeters. And that's it. That's how you use the ruler postulate to find distance. I'd say one of the main things to get out of this as well is the notation for the distances. Sometimes people look at these and say, oh, that's a segment, or oh, that's a line or array. But remember, those have special symbols that go on top to represent that. When you don't see a symbol on top, that by default means they want distance. If it's two letters, they want the distance between those two points. All right, that should take care of the ruler postulate for you. If you need any help, be sure and ask, and I'll talk to you guys later.